To navigate to the RapidScale customer portal, visit https colon forward slash forward slash portal dot rapidscale dot net. Once there, select login and use a Microsoft account associated with your company. This will bring you to the RapidScale customer portal homepage, where you can find out news regarding RapidScale services and more information about products that RapidScale offers. On the left-hand side, you'll find the portal navigation. Select My Cases to see support cases that you have opened. To open a new case, select Create New Case. When opening a case, the subject field will be a brief summary of the issue. The technology dropdown includes all services that RapidScale sells and supports. For this example, we'll be using the Virtual Desktop Infrastructure, or VDI, technology. The sub-technology dropdown includes all products associated with the service you selected above in the technology field. In this case, we'll be selecting Citrix. The problem code field includes a list of potential issues related to the sub-technology and technology selected above that a user may be experiencing. In this case, you'll want to choose the one that's most relevant to the issue at hand. Ours is user connectivity. In the problem description field, please provide a detailed description of the issue, including, if possible, when the issue is first noticed, any error messages associated with the issue, and any other information that may be helpful in resolving the case. When all fields are green, select Submit to submit your case. After submitting, you will be brought to the Case Detail screen. This will provide information such as when the case was opened, the priority of the case, the current status, the ability to close the case if you are able to self-resolve, the case contact, email messages between you and the assigned engineer, case notes left by the assigned engineer, the ability to attach documents or see documents that have been attached by the assigned engineer, and case history, which provides a step-by-step -step visual of changes in status, engineer, and priority. The dashboard page provides a brief overview of your RapidScale account including licensing and other information regarding services purchased through RapidScale. The billing page provides a list of all past invoices, payments, and change orders, and gives you the ability to download these as PDF files. You're also able to export all listed items to a CSV file. The services page provides a list of all subscribed RapidScale services. It provides a brief description, a quantity, and allows you to export these line items to a CSV file. The Usage Summary page compares the total usage of each service against the original amount shown on the contract. This is used to track overages as you may need to increase licensing or resources before the end of the contract's term. The Microsoft Services page gives you the ability to add and assign Microsoft licensing to users in your tenant. To add licensing, select Manage. This will bring up a list of all Microsoft products that you are currently subscribed to. To add additional licenses for a specific product, select the up arrow or type the difference in licensing in the text box. Select Next to provision your licensing. To assign a license to a user, search or find the user in the user list and select Edit User from the three-dot menu. Under Licensed Products, select the license you would like to assign. Select Update User to confirm the changes. You are also able to create new users. Select the Add User button, type in a username, a first name and last name, and a display name. You're also able to provide more information such as the user's cell phone, department, and office location. This will create a base user in your Microsoft tenant. Any additional configuration will have to be done in the Microsoft Admin Portal. Only users with administrator roles in the Customer Portal have the ability to add licensing, add users, and assign permissions. Under the Administrative Tools section, you'll find the Account page. This includes your Client Experience Manager, their contact information, your billing address info, your phone number, and your Microsoft 365 domain details. 
you're also able to see portal users and invite new users to the portal. To invite new users, select Invite User, type the user's email address, and the user's name. Under the Role section, select the roles appropriate for the user. Administrator includes all administrative functions, including user management. You're able to see all cases opened by all users of your RapidScale tenant and all service information. Billing administrators can view invoices, manage billing information, and view services. Users with the cases role are able to view and submit cases submitted on behalf of themselves. They're not able to see cases opened by any other users in the company. Another important role is the user role. Users can view portal data, including usage, but don't have access to billing information or to submit cases. Once the correct roles are assigned, select Send Invitation. The RapidScale chat support can be accessed from any page in the portal. Just look for the bubble in the bottom right corner of the screen. Enter your first and last name and your email address. In the subject field, leave a brief summary of the issue you are experiencing. Select Start Chatting to get connected to a support representative.